What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today I am back out on my kayak for the first time in a while. I miss this thing. I'm out here with Adam and Ense. Uh, we're fishing for some mackerel and maybe some halibut or whatever else we see. But my main target is mackerel today. And what I'm gonna do with that mackerel, I'm gonna cook a three course meal right on my kayak. That's right, <laughs> let's get it going. Got one. Yeah, dude. All right, here we go. Oh, what the hell, a croaker. <laughs> that right there is a croaker. Not really what I'm after. We could eat them, but nah, I want my mackerels. Birds are diving over there. All right, I'm gonna try over there. All right, let's roll. I see some pelican diving over there. Not too far away, maybe 50 yards, so we're gonna head over there and try that spot. Oh, I got one right here. Just trolling over. Ooh, we got a couple of them. Oh, got three. Oh, one fell out. Pretty good size, too. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, there you go. That's what we want right there. Moved off of them. Let's go. I'm gonna back up. Cool thing about this kayak, I can back up. I got some ancho. Oh, there you go. That's a mackerel. That's a mackerel. Okay, I'm also going to get one halibut rig ready so I can try to fish for halibut at the same time. Yo. Some more. Oh, but these are jack smell actually. Oh, two jack smell and one mackerel. Got splash in the eye. We're doing good so far. I already have enough for lunch. Check it out. Maybe we'll get a little bit more. Got get some for bait as well, so I can send them down. Maybe catch a halibut. I got my halibut rig set up. Got some live mackerel. Just a small one for bait. Let's see if we can get a halibut too. That would be cool. All right, but I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna throw the anchor down soon and we're gonna start cooking, start making lunch. I think it's pretty early still, but oh well, it's lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, it's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. It's all right, not too. I guess we're having a little. A brunch. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna sashimi some, uh -huh. and um, you're gonna salt cure it I'm gonna grill some too. Right oh, I'm gonna do three different ways. Right now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm done, so you got you guys can come and taste it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna anchor down right now and get ready to cook on my kayak. And just anchor down. Let's see if I can hit bottom. There you go, there's bottom. There you go. And that just kind of pops off. Put this over here. Let me set up my cutting board. Yes, I have a cutting board too. Here we go. Hmm, what should I do with this? Should I just keep it on my lap? 
can just work right here. That might work. Or should I... This might work too. Yeah. I even have a torch in here. Oh, I got a fish on. Nice, fresh. Oh, jack smell. Damn. I need to put a couple towels down right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. There we go. I have been waiting for a calm day in the ocean just like this so I can do this. Today's the day. We're about to grill some fish in the open ocean. All right, let's get it going. I'm gonna fillet uh, a few fish right now for the sushi part, and uh, I'm gonna actually cure them in vinegar as well. So let's get that going first. Oh, this is actually a really nice cutting board. Nice surface. My grill, I'll just put, I'm not using that yet, so put my cutting board on there. Oh, where's my knife, you ask? My knife's in the back. I got a cooler full of stuff still. I'm not messing around today. Got my knife. I got skewers in here. I got beers in here. I got all kinds of ingredients and my rice. Might as well fish while we cook. I guess we'll just gut them first. The nice thing about doing this in the ocean, I have just cleaning clean water right here to just rinse off the fish right next to me. Uh oh, seagulls are coming. So you might be more familiar with saba, which is a uh, that typical Pacific mackerel that you see, and these are more like aji. Uh, which is called a horse mackerel, but I don't know if this is exactly horse mackerel, but it's more similar to that. So I'm going to flay the bigger ones. One, two, three. Smaller ones I'm going to leave to grill, grill them whole. All right, let's do this. Hey, right, let me show you how I fillet these mackerel. These are so small, but you can still fillet them, get enough meat out of them. Just do one side, do the other side, toss that to the birds, wipe my knife, keep it clean, slice. Go into the center bone, scrape up a little, and I'm going to take my knife, just run it down, just like that. Then I'm going to flip the fish, slice the bottom there, turn it, score the top, go all the way into the spine. Scrape up on the spine a little, poke my knife all the way through, hold the tail, slice the rib cage. Slice the tail off, there you go. And not much meat left on the carcass. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, I've done this once before. I grilled some kokanee on my kayak on a lake. But this time we're leveling up and doing it 
in the open ocean and we're going to do three different preparations three courses so if you guys want to see more content like this make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well while you're at it oh i got a fish on there you go a couple more mackerel or jack smell and a mackerel there you go last time people were asking why don't you just go back to shore this is the exact reason why i can keep fishing <laughs> while i cook <laughs> look at that got another one all right now i just need to take all the rib cage off of these guys next thing i need to do is i need to take these pin bones out and at the same time i'm fishing for halibut too with this line pretty easy to remove pin bones from uh, mackerel be always careful with this one in the way up front it's easy to miss and you want to take these out because you don't want this when you eat sushi or sashimi this will ruin it for these filleted ones ready for sushi um, half of them I'm gonna put in here with the vinegar and the other half I'm gonna slice with sashimi normally when you want to make sushi you would uh, salt cure it first heavy salt cure for about 45 minutes but I'm gonna skip that step and just go straight to the vinegar so I'm just gonna lay these in here maybe three of the big ones and then this is sushi vinegar has a little it's rice vinegar salt and sugar so it's got a little sweetness to it and this is a little more flavor than uh than just plain vinegar skin side up keep that flesh down and i'm just gonna put that back in the cooler uh, for about 30 40 minutes while i prep the other things i take the skin off so the way to skin a mackerel you can actually start up front. You see they have these really hard tails. They have these like bony tail things. So up front, you can actually start peeling them off like that. You peel a little bit of that front part and I'm gonna hold on to this with the towel. Put that down on the board. And I'm gonna use the back of my knife and scrape the skin off. And this is skinless, skinless and boneless. And when you do mackerel, you want that kind of silvery skin left on there. You want that on there still. That's what gives it a really beautiful presentation. So when you take the skin off, you want to go really close. The next thing, I'm just going to go ahead and slice these very thinly. Just like that. Beautiful meat. And I just take the tail off because this part, all the fibers come together at the tail, so it's very chewy. So it's not pleasant. Now I have this here. This is ponzu and onions. That's it. Just sl thinly sliced onions. I'm just going to go ahead and throw all this in there. Oh. and we'll leave that in there for now these are from the garden even though we were gone we had some friends watching over the garden so uh shout out to james and thank you for watching our garden and raul as well keep it in there for now i have some regular charcoal in here and i also have some bean choltan in here as well you guys know bean choltan right here this is like Japanese charcoal, very long lasting. Oh. You know, there's been a lot of fire bans throughout the whole west coast and uh, there's no 
safer place to do it surrounded by water GoPro start recording Oh shoot Fish on dude Yeah No, it was dead. Dead mackerel. Oh shoot. <laughs> right when I got my grill going. Hopefully he doesn't go around. Ooh, he's turning me around. Oh shoot, dude, it's a good one. Oh, your other rod has a fish on it too. Shoot, I got fish on everywhere. My other rod's going off too. Might be the shark too. Here we go. Oh, it's a shark. It's a shark? Oh, it's a ray. Oh, no. Big mess. Oh, shoot. Here. I, I just, I'll unhook them for you. All right, thanks. Oh, my God. <laughs> dumping what? bag? Oh, my God, dude. It's, your, it's uh, like an angel shark or something. Oh, really? Might be. I That's think, cool. yeah, it's, it looks different. It doesn't look like a bat ray. Yeah, there's angel sharks here too. Should be pretty good. I got pretty heavy line. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Skate. skate. Oh, that's good eating too. Is it? Yeah, skate. You know what? Since I can't, I don't have time to deal with them. I'll just let them go. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, we let that guy go. That's good eating, too, though. Next time. Next time. We'll keep him. Right, I'm just going to spread out my charcoal. It's all ready, nice and hot. Just season them with some salt. This is a classic way of cooking mackerel. Just salt. And they'll have some of that salt water on them too. This is looking good, guys. Looking really, really good. I have some okra here as well. I'm just gonna season it with some salt water. Get that right on the grill too. Remember this one that's in the ponzu and onion. I'm gonna just put out my charcoal because I'm done with the grill. And the cool thing about bean chotan, Japanese charcoal, you can reuse it too. Okay, my okra. I'm gonna slice this up. Put the okra in with the sashimi here. Get that mixed up. Oh yeah, this is going to be delicious that right there guys is dish number one it is done check that out that's dish number one that's our appetizer some ponzu mackerel with onion and grilled okra all right one last thing i gotta do you guys remember my mackerel that's been sitting curing inside or basically pickling inside the sushi vinegar Get that skin off and then just slice 
some nigiri pieces and make some nigiri sushi. Probably get three pieces maybe out of each. And the way I score these guys, just straight down the middle. That was really good. And I have sushi rice right here as well. All right, let's make some sushi now. I just need to top this nigiri off with some grated ginger and green onion and we are done. Guys, we actually did it. We made a three course meal right on my kayak. Oh, getting a little rocky here. Boat's passing us. Let me tell you what we have here guys. For our first course, we have the mackerel sashimi with ponzu onion and grilled okra. Second course, nigiri. We have our vinegar cured mackerel nigiri topped with grated ginger and green onion. And finally, we have our grilled mackerel with our grilled lime. Just squeeze that right on top. Yeah, and there we go. All right guys, hey guys, you wanna come get some? Come through. Drink. It looks so good. Sure, I'll have a beer with you. Oh, <laughs> sketchy. There you go. Oh, cool. There's Thank you. Blood. Wow. This looks so Thanks, good. Man. Yeah, you're welcome. Good day fishing. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Sure, come by. Come by. Cheers. Cheers. I've been waiting for that. Little. Oh, here. I want a little grilled lime on there. Chiyoyaki? Yep. Chiyoyaki. You guys gotta try this one, dude. It's ponzu. Ponzu and okra. Let me try it grilled. Mm. Yeah, it's still good. It's Plain really and simple. Good with that. A little bit of ponzu on the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sir, we couldn't find any Pacific mackerel. No, it's all right. These will do. Chaku makes better sushi out here on a kayak than like 99.9% .9 of people can make in their home. Oh, oh. Like thousands <laughs> of dollars worth of equipment. <laughs> pass it down. Oh, wow. Get, get one, pass them down, or get two. Oh, man. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Another one? Oh. oh, it's okay. Look at this. And that, yeah, the mackerel sushi is so good. Mm hmm. With the ginger, huh? Yeah. It goes really well with ginger. Yeah. So good. This your fish. And I'm still catching fish over here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez. Here. What is this? Uh, here, get, get one more sushi. Get one more piece. Mm. You go ahead, sir. Ooh. Oh damn, this is really good. There. That one's just, bomb, huh? Give this back to him before. No, I go eat. ahead, go ahead. <laughs> eat more, dude. Damn, that is so good. Well, all right, guys. Well, that was a successful uh, little meal on the kayak. <laughs> if you guys want to see more content like this, let me know. Leave a comment below. Should I do a five course meal next time? And thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace. Woo. Fish on. Fish on. Trouble. <laughs>
That's a big one.